and we're back for another episode. In this episode we're going to be doing the treasure hunting. So I'm going to um, attempt to find a treasure map and hopefully open the chest that's involved with it. And because I have all of my gathering classes to 50 I'm hopefully going to be finding the map myself as well. Now something you need to do as well when you want to actually read a treasure map is you need to have um, certain abilities. So I'm here now in Wineport in Eastern Lanosia. So if that's Costa del Sol here, then this is where you want to be uh, in Wineport. And you need to talk to this lady, um, Haloon, or Haloon, or whatever you want to pronounce her name. And uh, she will give you a quest. So the quest is called uh, Treasures and Tribulations. So it says Haloon uh, would entice you with the pro prospect of untold riches which will give you the abilities to decipher. It says removes the time worn map from his glass prison and unlock its mysteries. And uh, dig, which says locate a buried treasure chest within a 30 arm radius, extract it from the ground. So I'm going to accept that. So it says uh, fancy yourself a romantic friend. Uh, do you oft find yourself gazing off into the horizon, uh, yearning to travel in search of storied uh, relics left behind by the heroes of yore? Uh, yes, you say? Then do I ever have a proposal for you? Um, I was accosted the other day by a slobbering drunkard. Bear with me now, I assure you this gets better. Um, who must be eagerly, who most eagerly regaled me. Uh, from what I could gather amidst uh, slurred speech and um, copious amounts of spittle, that it is, uh, with the tale of a treasure map he had stumbled upon in his travels. Um, I don't recall the particulars. Um, I was emptying my innards of some uh, foul uh, swill at the time, you see, but it sounded rather convincing to me, to my ale, um, adled brain. Um, what I do remember is that the fellow mentioned striking out at uh, first light for Raincatcher Gully to visit a minor friend. Um, should the prospect of hunting uh, for riches set your heart aflutter, I reckon you might still find him there. Okay, so we need to head to here. In rain catch a gully. So now that I've got my green botanist outfit and I'm holding the, um, you know, Christmas uh, packages on my back, I look like one of um, Santa's helpers. But when it's not Christmas, I look just like uh, Link from the Zelda series. Okay, so let's talk to this guy. So it says, Hidden Treasures. Ha! Another guild-crazed uh, greenhorn reeled in by um, Eldwine's tall tales, eh? Yes, Eldwine, that's the uh, doddering fool's name. Though, mind you, I've not known him to limit his consumption to any type of brew. Um, um, I, I saw him just the other day, I did, clutching some tattered uh, piss yellow parchment like it was made of solid mithril. Um, to this uh, ticket to fortune, um, he blabbered. Um, not half so eloquently, uh, mind you. Uh, before stumbling out of the tavern doors and probably falling flat on his mug like um, as not. Um, I did see that the map myself, you say? Um, did I ever? Uh, why, the fool shoved it in my face so many times that I swear the mould left the page to take up the residence in my nostrils. Uh, it was a mess of blue and brown uh, splotches that Eldwin swore was uh, Camp Bronze Lake with a big red X to the southeast. Um, you're not thinking of going there, are you? Uh, take my word, you'll find naught but a sorry drunk card and his sack of broken dreams. Okay, so now we're going to head there to Aplanosia. So in the patch notes of 2.1, 
it does tell you the different places you can get the different maps. So I have um, pasted it into the description below for easy reference. Okay, here he is. So it said, um, who goes there? Wait, don't tell me. You've come to help old um, Eldwine dig for buried treasure. Um, well, I'll have you know, I'm faring um, just fine of by myself. Just look at that um, beauty over here. Um, not that I can blame you for being jealous of me vast riches. Um, ye for, uh, lucky for ye, I'm feeling uh, generous today. So here's the deal. I'll give you the honor of opening my latest discovery. Um, that's right. Of one, for one precious moment, you can walk in the shoes of Eldwin, treasure hunter um, extraordinaire. Um, uh, go on now. The casket won't buy it or nothing. Okay, so we need to open casket. I might be the wrong class for this, given I'm my botanist. That's funny. Okay, I'm going to reset these and change to my bard, obviously. Okay, so let's do it now. These fights are really easy for me because these are level 36 monsters and I'm level 50. Okay. So it says, uh, Seven Hells, where did those uh, nasty buggers come from? Um, why, if I had me trusty pickaxe with me, I'd uh, slift their skulls clean in two. Uh, where in the world did those things go? Okay, so once I'm reconnected, I'll continue. Okay, so now continuing, so let's carry on the quest. So 
So it says, Seven's Hells, where did those nasty buggers come from? Uh, why, if I had me trusty big axe with me, I split their skulls clean and hot in two. Uh, where in the world did those things go, anyway? Okay, so I'm going to turn these in. So, what's this? Look, Eldwine's had the finest Eorzean um, hash to offer from the drowning wench of the Bushkarons, uh, Drus. And he ain't seen nothing like a uh, great bygot's uh, goat. Um, it's a trap, that's what it was. Opening the casket shattered uh, this here bottle, and thus foul uh, slop poured out, luring them nasty buggers with it. Um, I told you to be more careful. Now hand over the loot. Uh, you may have opened the casket, but um, swash old uh, Eldwin what did the dirty work. Uh, wait, what's this? You gave me everything? Why, I got more... Um, last time I sold me um, undergarments for grog money. Um, you aren't hiding nothing from me, are you? Well, it looks like you've got no choice. Uh, we've got to go out and search for bigger and better treasures. Um, not the same treasures, uh, of course. Um, I can't hold your hand forever, so sit back and let Eldwin impart the proper uh, trove of knowledge on treasure hunting. Uh, firstly, you find yourself a map. Once you have your map, then you decipher it. Uh, that means you look at it nice and good. Um, then when you've figured out where um, your treasure is, is hiding, you go there and, di and dig it up. Um, sounds simple enough, you say? Ha! Huh. Um, it might take... Um, it might make it look easy, but I can assure you it ain't. Aye, uh, treasure huntering demands uh, sharp eyes and a sharper mind. But don't be discouraged. Um, hone your skills like Eldwin and the treasures um, are sure to follow. Now, if you'll excuse me, me throat's feeling dry. Uh, Fritch won't even buy me a swig of Wench's cheap grog. Uh, what's a man to, to do to drown his sorrows? Okay, so now I'm going to complete the quest and get to Cypher and Dig. Okay, so we have Decipher and Dig, so... Where should we put them? Decipher and Dig. Let's see if there's any space in my hotbar. Okay. Let me now read this. So it says, by using the general action decipher, you can examine a time-worn map. Uh, doing so will change it um, into a key item known as a treasure map, which, true to its name, will reveal to you the location of uh, a hidden cache of riches. Um, please note that you can only possess one treasure map at any given time. If we, you wish to decipher another treasure map, you must either find the current hidden cache or simply discard the map leading to it. Okay, so we can only have one map at a time. So I'm going to head straight to, like, uh, Mordona, I suppose. I'm going to try and get a high level one straight away. And they said you can get those from the level 50 uh, mode. Okay, so... We can also get either boar skin, which is a, a single person, or a, um, a what's it called? A uh, pie skin, which is a eight man one. I still need to come back here eventually to do all of the um, primals, extremes, and crystal tower and other things. Anyway, let me use my locator. So it's something that they did say actually is that you you are now able to use these um, amber calls while mounted. Let me quickly check the the maps. One second. So by going to disciplesoftheland.com, I can look at maps and see 
where the level 50 nodes are. Okay, tell you what, I'm gonna actually try in um, East Shroud, so I'm gonna teleport to Half on Hut because there is level 51 there. So I'll just keep running around until I find a appropriate map. So this is the area you want to be. Okay, here are the level 50 nodes. So, hopefully this won't take too long. It's a good idea to have Sprint as a key bind um, for your gathering, just because you're going to need it so much. I'll try two more nodes and then if I don't get one I will pause filming until I find one. Oh, lol, there you go. So time skin uh, toads, sorry, time worn toad skin map. So it says hidden items. It says in the course of gathering disciples of the lamb will occasionally come across hidden items. 
Um, a hidden item may also be classified as rare, meaning you can obtain only one before it disappears from the gathering window. Abilities that increase the number of items obtained during a single gathering attempt have no effect on rare items. Okay, so I'm just going to use a Field Mastery 2 to get it to 100%. There you go, the Time War map. So it says, in the course of gathering, disciples of land will occasionally discover items known as Time Worn maps. Um, these maps can be examined by using the general action decipher. Um, if you wish to learn more about Time War maps, it is recommended you visit Wineport in Eastern Lanosia, which we've already done. So now let's quickly finish this node. Okay, so now change back to Bard. So I have my map right here, so I see decipher, decipher the map, yes. So it says finding treasure, so we need to go to Outer Lenosia up there. Let's see Outer Lenosia. So I think that is right here that they're talking about. So I need to teleport to Camp uh, Overlook. But anyway, finding treasure. So it says, using a treasure map will bring up a window that reveals the rough whereabouts of a hidden cache. It is then um, up to you to cross-reference the area map and pinpoint its precise location. Upon arriving at the specified location, use the general action dig to locate and extract the treasure. Uh, bearing any navigational errors, a chest laden with bounty will appear. Um, be fairly warned, the chest may be rigged with a trap that lures uh, ferocious creatures to you. You must defeat them if you are to walk away uh, with life, limb and loot. Okay. So, let's teleport now to Camp um, Overlook. Expensive teleport, hopefully we'll make it back from the treasure chest. So basically all of the treasure maps except for the pie skin can actually be soloed. Um, it's the pie skin one where you need to party to defeat the monsters within. I need to go over here. get there we will use the ability dig. So it's just something else to do each day. If you have a gathering class to 50 just try and find a map and do it. I mean it, the you can get a map every 18 hours but I'm not going to be doing it exactly on 18 hours. I'll probably just try same time every day. Okay, so it should be around here, roughly. So let's quickly use dig and see if we can find it. Okay, treasure found. There it is. So it says open the treasure chest. The tre uh, treasure map will be lost, okay? Okay, wow, so we have to kill these two. We have five minutes to defeat them as well. I'm assuming it's more than these two, given the progress bar didn't go to 50%. So yeah, looking at this, it's four monsters. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm going to open up the treasure chest. 
So I got 10 philosophy points and 1600 gil. And it said a silver medal. I don't know if that's because of time or whatever. But that's it. So that's how you find a treasure map. And that's how you decipher it. And that's how you dig it up. That's how you defeat it and get the loot out of it. So it's a quick 1500 gil for not much work. So yeah. So anyway, um, thank you for watching. And as always, goodbye from me. And goodbye from Mifri.